Y'all, Kamala Harris done a lot again. Watch this entire video. We caught her red-handed. We got receipts. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Not raising the years. I'm not raising the age. Uh, I will be saving Social Security, and I'm going to work it out that there's no tax on Social Security for seniors. I'm also doing no tax on tips. No tax on tips. So waiters, waitresses, caddies, uh, people that drive cars, people that get tips who have been harassed by this government, we're going to have no tax on tips. That's a big thing. Including to raise the minimum wage and eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers. A few moments later. That's oh, my bar. Shit. He copied my oh, whole shit. flow. That gets me through the phone. He copied my whole flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. Oh. Uh, so, Donna, I want to ask you about something that just came in last night. We saw a big speech in Nevada by uh, Kamala Harris, and she came out for um, no tax on tips. Where have I heard that before? Well, look, I, I'm... It's like one of the few policy specifics that Donald Trump has offered. And, and she also gave more details, I think, on how to make that a reality. Look. Flashback. Biden seems intent on taking your earnings hostage. Now, the IRS, they just announced this week that they want to start tracking all of the tips that workers earn so that they can be taxed for it. Uh, so, so much for Biden's sacred promise not to raise taxes on anyone making less than $400,000 a year. Remember, this is all part of Biden so-called Inflation Reduction Act. The yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the vice president votes in the affirmative, and the bill, as amended, is passed. Y'all, we got a red-handed. So listen, for y'all that don't know, when the Senate is split, the deciding person is going to be the vice president. So this right here, you seen the bill. They told you the exact bill. And Kamala Harris had an opportunity to not tax your tips. But guess what she did? She taxed your tips. That has been Donald Trump, one of his policies that he's been rolling out for the 2024 election. So now, and he's been saying it for months. Now Kamala Harris is so disingenuous, she want to literally copy the man. And then she wants to say she don't want to tax your tips, but she literally had an opportunity not to tax your tips, and she voted against it. Y'all, everybody got to show this video, save this video, share this video with your friends, because this woman has lied. She's a liar. She's this. She's not right. Why don't you do it right now? You're the vice president. You can still do it. When you had the, the bill right there to sign it, you could have done it right there and you did not do it. Kamala Harris, you're a liar. You're a, a habitual liar. We continue to find you saying it out of your mouth. Nobody lied on you. No, you said it yourself. Lord Jesus, this is sad, y'all. Like, I, like, I'm so baffled that people, like, I'm a conservative individual. I'm not for the Republican Party. I'm not for the Democratic Party. I'm for people that are genuinely right and who's best for the people, who really has a heart for the people. And listening to Kamala Harris continue to lie time after time after time when we have video evidence of her lying y'all this is sad and then she takes donald trump's talking points she literally took word for word what this man wants to do for the people that someone who would actually implement it someone who would stand on his word people keep calling donald trump a liar but okay show me where he lied give me the facts and the evidence i'm not saying he's perfect it's not what i'm saying but I do believe, based on inflation, when he was in the office, based on what he want, he told the UN and everything that he implemented when it comes to tariffs and what benefits America as a whole, not just one demographic of individual, he wants to make America great again. He wants us to stay the power structure. He wants to keep the U.S. dollar 
at the bottom of everybody's, I mean, as the, as the anchor of everybody's economy. Not everybody, but you know what I mean. Okay. But I'm just saying, y'all, Kamala Harris is a disingenuous individual. She is a compulsive liar. She continues to lie, y'all. And I'm, and, and I'm getting so frustrated that people are solely wanting to vote for her because the color of her skin, not the content of her character, not seeing that that she has not held up her end on policy. And not only that, her and Joe Biden has the same policies. Watch this. Been aligned, you know, they've been aligned for the last three and a half years. There's not been any. They've been aligned for the past three and a half years. Have you liked Joe Biden's policy? Have you liked what Joe Biden has done with this country? Ask yourself that. Spread the word. Tell people the truth. Make an informative vote for the person who's actually going to benefit this country as a whole. And when we talk about individual politics, that's when you have to go to your local government. And then you have to start the initiatives. You have to vote in the people that you want that are going to best benefit you and your family.